In this video, we are not going to be doing any coding, but I thought I should uh, talk to you about uh, build errors and how to clean your build, for, uh, build folder in Titanium Studio. Now, what is a build folder? Build folder is a directory in your project that is created when you uh, test your app that you have made, like here, although this is only the kitchen sink, uh, in uh, using the iOS simulator, so iPhone or the iPad. Now, this isn't f this isn't uh, anything related to Android, so if you're only using Android, you don't really have to worry about it. It's only for iOS stuff, so iPhone and, and, and iPad. Now the build folder includes uh, the exo Xcode project and all the codes that is uh, transformed into or changed to Objective-C from your JavaScript code which is required to run your app on the iOS simulator. Now uh, when you test your app in the project, like when you uh, run it in your simulator and then you change your project a bit, you change the code a bit and you run it again. Each time you do that, the build folder automatically replaces uh, the codes and up gets updated with new Objective-C and stuff. And everything normally works. However, sometimes you get this error when you were trying to run the simulator and you get this like bunch of red uh, font colored uh, error signs like all the way around here in your console saying that you've got an error. And uh, unlike when you've uh, screwed up somewhere, got a typo in your code or something, it won't say uh, what line it is. It's just say error with a bunch of words. I haven't read all the words, so I'm not sure, but I'm, I think it's going to say build error or something. Now, basically what that means is that uh, your build has uh, screwed up somewhere and you need to clean it. Now, that sometimes happens when you uh, update your titanium to new version, change your titanium to a different version, maybe one older one or another new one, or uh, when you plug in your device onto uh, your computer and test your uh, app on your device. Now, uh, in order to avoid errors, those kinds of errors, what you should do and what is advised to do is to clean your project first. Now. If you open your uh, project, just normally, from your app Explorer, you've got this project open and you've got your app.js and stuff, what you want to do, or you don't have to open it, what you want to do is go to project and then go to clean. And what, op uh, and then this window is open and basically if I click on clean project selected below, you can select the project you want to clean, uh, clean in your current project folder. So if I go to my project explorer, which I need to uh, close that first. I've got three uh, projects in my file system local. I've got the kitchen sink, I've got my first project which I used mainly for my tutorial stuff and I've got test games where I've been playing around with box 2 d stuff. Now if I go back to my project and clean it will display all the three uh, projects and you can select which one you want to clean. Now in this video I am just going to clean the kitchen sink because that's the one I've currently opened and I'm going to press OK. What that basically does is it's going to delete your uh, build folder inside the directory of your project and it's going to, uh, when you run your iPhone simulator again, let me do that, uh, after I finish Oh, after Titanium Studio finished building the work workspace, there we go. I think it's done. Yep. And I go to my iPhone simulator, and it's going to take a bit of time because it's going to say performing field build, and it's you've got this extra line of information codes uh, in your console, not codes, but information uh, lines in your console that you normally don't have because your simulator is creating a new build. So. Uh, this is really useful in order to avoid those kinds of build errors and you should always do it when you update or change your titanium version when you are when you want to test your app uh, using a device so an iPhone or an iPad connected to your computer and you should do it every so often when you get this error in order to avoid it so uh, it says launching application my iPhone simulator hopefully there we go my simulator is going to load and without any errors the kitchen sink app which I just cloned from the github is going to uh, load fine. Come on. There we go. 
So that was a short video, no coding, no keyboard touching, just how to clean your uh, build folder in order to avoid errors. Before I wrap up, I'm just going to quickly show you what actually the clean does. If you go to your uh, default Titanium Studio workspace where you save and store your project folders, and I'm going to go to my kitchen sink, or if I go to any of them, you see this bunch of folders and files in one of them, uh, normally at the top because it's the first, uh, it's B, it's one of the closest letter to A, which is the first letter alphabet, uh, you'll see this build folder. And inside this build folder, you've got the iPhone, and then inside that you've got all these like uh, .m and .m, H, if I could see it, no, I can't see dot H, but hopefully it's going to be somewhere. It's there's basically going to be all the uh, Objective C code and all the stuff you need to have in order to run your app in the iPhone simulator. Now, what Clean does is just delete this file, and that's it. And once you uh, deleted it, if you just reload or re uh, open your iPhone simulator or iPad simulator, it's going to automatically create your uh, build folder for you and it's going to be new and with no errors or any scripts inside. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.